Welcome to beautiful South Central Pennsylvania. We are here at Colonel Denning State Park today and we're going to be doing a cold weather tent camping overnight here at the state park. So, so what we have here is known as a walk-in site and for a guy like me this is the best of the both worlds because I can drive to the campground, I can park my car, but then I can walk in down the trail and basically be left alone. One of the big advantages of camping in the winter is two things. Number one, much less crowded. There's hardly anyone here except for a few um, like RVs down by the entrance. And the number two thing is no bugs. You can see it's a beautiful sight. There's no one around. And we have a beautiful, beautiful clear skies. The plan is to have an early night tonight and then hike the uh, Flat Rock Trail, which is supposed to be lead to one of the best viewpoints in the state of Pennsylvania. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, well, it's about three o'clock now and it's gonna start getting dark around 4.30. So we got about an hour and a half, two hours to kill. We're gonna check out this doubling gap nature trail down by the, uh, there's a small pond and a little nature trail. Let's check it out. Let's see what that has to offer. Let's go for a hike. We got this nice little gazebo here that looks like it was recently built and uh, we're right below the lake. The lake is right up that way. We're going to check that out in a moment. Now just in case you were curious it cost $29.50 to rent the campsite for the night and it's on the honor system. The park office is closed. Let's go take a look at the lake, or I guess it's more of a pond, but we'll find out. Let's see. When you've spent so much time in the Pennsylvania State Park system, you begin to realize that many of them take on very similar shape it's very common to have small impoundments like this. Um, there's a beach on the other side and nature trail around the lake and campground next to the lake and then trails leading out from the campground into the surrounding state forest, which is much more of a wilderness setting. There's something magical, something beautiful about the Pennsylvania forests, the mixture of the hardwoods and the white pine and the hemlock. Um, you could drop me anywhere in Pennsylvania and I think I'd know that I was in Pennsylvania just by the makeup of the trees. They're very beautiful.
hit our halfway point and the loop trail is beginning to take us back to the lake. I like to get there before the sun goes behind the hill and watch the sunset. So let's go. Let's keep moving. As you can see, we just literally made it back to the lake in time for sunset, setting over the trees there. Beautiful sight. Well, good morning there, day two. And uh, it was cold last night. We got down to about 26 degrees in the tent there, but uh, we made it. And um, now we're heading up to the Flat Rock Overlook on the Flat Rock Trail. So let's go hit that trail, Gator out. According to the sign at the entrance to the trail, it's a 1200 foot uh, elevation gain to the top of the trail and um, we're on the shadow side of the uh, mountain where the sun hasn't hit yet so I might not be doing too much filming on my way up but um, if we see anything interesting I'll certainly turn the camera on and let you know all right onward and upward It's such a difference it makes in the mood and the ambiance of the forest when you get that early morning light and everything illuminates. Well, it looks like we are at the Times Square of the trail. There are signs everywhere, and I do remember seeing this on the map. So this is a junction between the long distance Tuscarora Trail, if you recall from Cohen's Gap State Park video. There's a couple side trails, Warner Trail, Lehman Trail, but the main thing here is that both the Tuscarora Trail and the Flat Rock Trail, which go this way, lead to the Overlook. All right, now this is pretty cool over here. We got a little shelter. Now, this little overnight shelter would be for long distance hikers on the Tuscarora Trail. And you can get an idea of what one of these shelters looks like. The wagon wheel shelter. And it looks like every 10 or 12 miles or so, they have one of these on the trail. But you can just put your sleeping bag in here if the weather is bad. If not, of course, you could pitch a tent anywhere out here. And they got a little fire ring and a picnic table to cook. 
It's a nice little climb, but we've done worse. I'm actually wondering if that junction of those trails was just a gap in the mountain because there's another ridge line in the direction we're going. So we may not be done climbing yet. This trail has turned out to be a little different than what I had expected. I had expected uh, pretty much just like a straight climb and then a walk along the ridge line to the overlook. But we did start with a steep climb. Then we reached a ridge top where the trails, where the trail junction was. And now I guess maybe we're going through a gap in the mountain and some different types of uh, terrains, adding a little variety to the hike. So that's always a good thing. Looks like we finally reached our highest elevation. So we should be coming to the overlook. You can see the valley out ahead. It should be a good one. Here it is, flat rock at an elevation of 1,987 feet. Looking out over the Cumberland Valley of Pennsylvania. Wow. What do you think? Not a bad view, huh? Looking out over the farmland, Cutting through the hills, cutting through the fields there, that's Route 233, which will actually lead you out to the Pennsylvania Turnpike in the distance, kind of cutting right across the central part of the valley. before we head back to camp. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> All right. well, it's time to settle in for another evening. So let's get this fire lit. 
Let's see if we can get it lit with one match and have it burn until tomorrow morning.